Honestly, succulents have been kind of a little pain of late, especially the pretty ones. The longest I've had with me are the hardy kinds, you know, the open shea, which has new pups coming out, cacti, which I had set up in a terrarium about a year back, and my neglected aloe vera, which is sending out a lot of pups. So today what I'm thinking to do is to take out the pups, plant them, and we'll see how that goes. The problem I have figured with terrariums are that they limit the growth of my plants. And by the end of this video, you will see how the size of the pot can be so important in determining the growth of the plant. So first, I am just preparing the soil and choosing the right size of the pot, which is about 4 to 5 inch. The soil I am using is primarily coco peat. I love to use perlite for succulents, but I don't have it right now. I am mixing that coco peat with the soil I had used for the terrarium. It has some coal, some pebbles and some sand as well. Once I've cleaned the roots of the plant as much possible, I pot them and here is how the plant has exponentially grown within a month. This opuntia has also been stunted in its growth because of the pot size and I don't want to repot this plant. Instead, I want to separate the pups and grow them as a separate plant. For growing these pups, there are at least an inch deep roots. This will make our life way easier. Now we just add the soil and pot the plant. You might have already guessed the timeline of this video with my hair length but if you haven't, after a month when I opened this pot Just look at the growth of the roots under the soil when it was in much bigger pot, the root size was way limited but when the plant started growing independently in a new pot, it got a lot of space as a result of which the above ground growth was also fantastic. For my aloe vera also, I am going to do the same thing. Look for a pup, gently pull it out and pot it. For succulents, soil and light are the key important part. If the light is abundant, you will see good growth and here a new pup has already emerged. As for the succulents that I did not cover, the sedums and the echeverias, the pretty ones that everybody loves and cannot resist buying from the nursery, actually I have just stopped growing them. The extreme monsoon of Mumbai and the extreme heat of the tropical country that we live in, it is quite a task to keep the succulents like sedums and echeverias. Havartias still tend to do okay for my area but unless you have a space inside which can protect your plants from the extreme monsoon growing succulents can be a big task i hope this video helps take care and i will see you soon <laughs>